3D printers are driving a new wave of engineering and design. The technology allows anyone to print anything from tchotchkes to human body parts. Now chemists are using this versatile tool to build a better understanding of the world at the molecular level. Leading researchers are figuring out ways to bring microscopic structures to life through 3D printers. In a paper published in Crystal Growth and Design, Lee Cronin and his team are translating the position of atoms and crystals into a 3D model, which can then be printed out. Something that was once just two nanometers across is now a four centimeter object you can hold in your hand and study. They're fun trinkets too to put on your desk, but you can really learn from them, which is what's exciting. Vincent Scalfani from the University of Alabama and his colleagues recently wrote about their 3D printing research in the Journal of Chemical Education. His group published guidelines on preparing chemical structures for 3D printing, converting crystal or protein files into a stereolithographic file that can be fed into a 3D printer. Scalfani wanted to create a new way for students and lab chemists alike to see the microscopic world. It's very challenging to visualize molecules. You know, you usually see a flat drawing on a, on a screen or a piece of paper. And so being able to hold and touch it, you can see the individual angles and facets. So it's an incredible teaching tool. A big improvement from the classic ball and stick kits found in just about every chemistry class. The piecewise kits are, are great and they've been around for many decades and they're great tools, but the um, problem is there's only a limited amount of molecules that you can really make with them. And as they become more and more complex, you just can't do it with the kits. Whereas 3D printing, we, you don't have any limitations on the complexity. Scalfani, along with the Royal Society of Chemistry Chem Informatics team, helped create a public database of more than 30,000 3D printable crystal structures so that anyone with a 3D printer could log on, grab the files, and start printing. If you're, if you're trying to understand, you know, binding of molecules or different interactions, um, you can actually, you know, print out that, that molecule and take a look at it. It's also great for scientists who are discovering new molecules in crystal structures. Scalfani says his dream is for every lab to have one of these increasingly cheap tools on hand. I could kind of see it where um, right next to the, you know, the single crystal x-ray diffractometer is a 3D printer. And so after you collect the data, you know, you have it up on the computer screen and then you can go ahead and 3D print it on your 3D printer. Breakthrough Science is produced by the American Chemical Society. For more on the latest research from the chemistry world, why not subscribe to ACS?